Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today I'd like to talk about the improvements that can be found in our new version 14 of our standalone software. The first improvement has to do with the cartoon effect. In the past, when you ran the effect, you could get a lot of small black dots. I call them speckles. And we are able to uh, write some software that removes these speckles and makes for a cleaner cartoon effect. The next thing we improved, and this is a very valuable improvement, is the advanced hair processing. I tweaked the algorithm so now it's even more powerful, as I'll demonstrate later. And the most no noticeable feature is uh, we've redid the color controls so that you can change hue, have color presets, do selective color and color overlays. So let's jump into it and take a look at the uh, despeckling software and the new uh, version of the cartoon effect. So let's just turn the despeckle off and you can see see all these little dots and all the dots on our face if you up this despeckler, it'll it'll take any small object and get rid of it. So we don't want to go too far. We'll start getting rid of lines that don't quite connect. Maybe just a little farther. Uh, let's get rid of that one more. There we go. So now you see we got rid of all the little spots in her face, all the spots on the in the uh, blue area. So you can play with this, and uh, if you don't have enough enough edges, you can increase this, the the uh, sketch contrast. If again you're getting too many spots, you can play with the, the smoothing. But now whatever you get, the despeckler can just remove it. So that's a new feature. I also wrote Laser Photo Wizard, which uh, creates images for laser engravers. And uh, that despeckling algorithm came out of that work. OK, so let's take a look. Let's go home and load a foreground. And just so we can see it more clearly, we're going to load a lighter background. OK, so as you can see, the wizard didn't do a bad job just by default. But when we turn on advanced hair processing, you can see a whole bunch more detail jumps into the picture. Now you might not be able to see this on the video as much, but uh, it's there. So let's load another one. This one has always been a problem, but with the advanced hair processing and knowing what colors to look for, it creates this really great uh, rendering of the hair. And last but not least, let's do somebody with darker hair. You can see that the dark hair works as well. But you can see sort of, if you look very closely, and I doubt you can see this on the video, you might see a little bit of where we've removed uh, what the software thought was a shadow. So if you want, you can turn this off and see if you get some of that back. And you do get some of the tiny hairs back, but you also get a tiny distortion in the, uh, in the background. But the point is that you can use AVP to help remove shadows. You can uh, restore hair. The thing you have to know that if you're wearing a hat, it, it, looks, it looks for the software above the face, or the hair above the face. So having a hat on won't show you much hair and uh, could cause problems. So that's why we don't leave it on by default, because not everybody is a close-up model that needs it. Okay, so that's it for, for hair processing. So let's take a look at some of our new color features. So we'll put a nice background in, wherever that went. Here it is. 
do the adjustments to make sure it fits just right. Because we have a blanket, we can kind of push this up a bit. Okay. Oh, so we actually changed the algorithms that these sliders work, uh, this, that work with these sliders, but the sliders themselves are the same. It just works a little better. So again, you can change the saturation of the background, make it oversaturated. All the things you could always do. But the new ones are in the color. So uh, we uh, have the same red, green, and blue, but now we've added a hue slider. Okay, and then Vibrance, which probably is not going to do much, yeah, a little bit. It, it lowers the, uh, tends to lower the brightness and increase the saturation to give you a more vibrant picture. But since there are people, we won't do that. Now an interesting one, fun one, is Selective Color, and I'm sure you creative guys will We'll have a good time with this. Uh, let's play with the background, and I just happen to know that this stuff is basically a yellow, a yellowish green, so we'll pick yellow to play with. And one way to see what's affected is just change the hue. So you can see that this is affecting quite a bit of this stuff. Okay, so one fun thing you can do is you can make it look like an autumn an autumn background by changing the hue to kind of an orange and you can uh, saturate it although it's pretty saturated already but those are the kinds of things you can do affect just the trees without affecting uh, or affect the leaves without affecting the tree or the foreground these things can be applied to the foreground or the background Okay, the next thing we have that's new is an overlay color. And so if we want to do a deep pink, say, on the foreground, or on the background, we'll just give it a little pinky background. And then uh, let's do the same for the foreground. So unlike selective color, this kind of colors the whole thing. I mean the whole area. And you can see if you take it all the way, it'll be just just a color. So anyways, this should free your creativity and hopefully you'll have a good time playing with that. Okay, so because there's so many color controls now, I created a couple of what I call presets. The first preset is the most important because that sets everything back to default. Okay, well, let's pick a preset. Uh, whoops, wrong thing. Select a preset that's say just that pink overcast. Uh, here we go, pink cast two. And at first it seems too pink, but the longer you look at it, it just seems like a soft pink image. Okay. Uh, another one might be uh, we'd like a more vibrant or a green back greener background. Let's see, C D there. So now you see it's just a little more intense green for the background. So there's a bunch of color presets in here, and you can have fun with them. Um, I don't know what else we could do. We don't have a sky. Oh, we could try pale skin. So again, a lot of times the skin is just oversaturated, so it doesn't really look like skin. So this gives you sort of a pale, pale effect just to the skin, but leaves the rest of the uh, image more saturated. Okay, let's load a different background. Sunset. And again, we'll adjust it because they're on a beach blanket. There. 
All right, so you can see they don't match the sunset very well. They look like they're in daylight, and this is clearly a sunset. So I added a color preset called Sunsets. And this only works on the foreground. There you go. So in the click of one button, you can help match your your images to the uh, to the background, which is what the color is really all about. I mean, it's a little bit about special effects, but it's also about matching the foreground and the background and the same color tones. Well, let's look at a slightly more dramatic one. So here we have our snake lady for Halloween. And cool track. So pretty awesome picture right there, but we can make it look really Halloween-y by just giving it a kind of dark, gray effect, or sorry, purple effect. So you can do this as kind of like midnight, uh, you know, midnight kind of uh, color effect. So that's, that's pretty much the new features and upgrades to the existing software. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, it's a free download from greenscreenwizard.com if you're already a, a user. There's no charge for our upgrades. Uh, updates, sorry. And um, all of the features, all of the color features are available to everyone. The color presets and of course the uh, special effects are only available to pro and pro batch users. If you'd like to upgrade, upgrade from the light or full to the pro, you can buy the pro and then use your current serial number as a discount coupon. Get a deep discount. So thanks for watching. We hope uh, hope you'll download it and try it out. And let give me uh, whatever feedback you can. Thanks.